Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Negative things Oshomole said about me, not from his heart. Eze Iyamu, a do APC governor candidate. Governorship candidate of the whole Progressive Congress in Edo State, Pastor Ozagi. Eze Iyamu talks to Peter David about his emergence at the party's primary allegations against him ahead of the forthcoming governorship election and his chances against Governor Godwin Obesiki at the next poll. Godwin Obesiki defeated you in 2016 to become a do state governor. Now, as governor, don't you think he will have a more resounding victory this time around? Honestly, if he had performed very well, there is no doubt that his performance would have aided him. But if we have to assess his performance, I believe it is going to be very difficult to get the electorate to vote for him. In the last two and a half years, the governor has abandoned governance for political infighting. It has been all about second term. Is non-negotiable. Nobody can enter Edo State without my permission. I will demolish his house, and so on. He has been so distracted from the core objective of governance that it's going to be difficult to convince people that he could not perform well because he was engrossed in party issues. If you look at all the core areas, agriculture, health, education, they are nothing to write home about. How can you talk about education when there are no teachers? Go around the rural areas. You will discover that most schools have only one teacher who has to teach English, mathematics, and all other subjects, whether science or art. There are no good hospitals or health care centers. Agriculture is not getting any serious attention. At the center of the day, the issue is where has he excelled? So if we have to look at his performance, I am sure the electorate will say it is time for him to take a bow, a bow and leave. You asked the governors to return to the APC. Why did you say that? For me, it is the best thing to do. The fact that you disagree with your party does not mean that you can just abandon them like that. Whether you like it or not, the APC brought him into political prominence. Before he joined the APC, nobody knew him. And the APC more or less elevated him and made him a governor, even without a political history. So there is no doubt that he is indebted to the party. Even the so-called disqualifications he was quarreling about, he had the opportunity to appeal the decisions, but he didn't do that. So just because your party had issues with you, you defeated to another party. He won't have it smooth in that party he just joined, like he had in the APC. Sometimes they say that until you marry a second wife, you will not appreciate your first wife. I am sorry to use that analogy because I am not a polygamist. So I think he is going to he is going into a second marriage that will make him realize that the first one was made from heaven and the second one is a disaster. Sometimes in the past, the suspended national chairman of the APC, Adam Zoshiamole, called you a lot of unpredictable names and said you were incapable of governing the state. How will you cope with such a man now as your godfather? What do you mean by godfather? However, are we selecting what we should remember? What about the period he paid glowing compliments to me? What about the period he praised me for what I did to support him to be in government? To be in government, what about those period at hand? What about the period he praised me? He made those statements during the period I was in the other side and was contesting to be the state governor. And Oshiamale was determined to prevent that. What do you expect? Were you expecting him to praise me at that time when he did not want me to be the governor? So when you look at the context in which he said those things, you will understand that. It was just plain politics, and it needed to demark to demarket me so that this candidate would have an advantage. And after the elections, that was the end of it. So I do not think that we should dwell too much on what he said before the election. If you are saying that, we can also take you back to what he said about me before then. 
People are saying, look at the bad things he said during the campaign. Why, why did they not look at the good things he said before the campaign? The truth is that he was only trying to demarcate me so that although people would not vote for me, not that it was from his heart. Of course, the man who Shemole can speak for himself, he is not dead. We are all pretending not to know that. In politics, you can say all kind of things just to de just to demarket your opponent. Will it be right to say the former governor will be your godfather? No. When you use that word, you miss it completely. When will he be my godfather? First, I am. Am I a political novice? I am not someone that needs to be sold because I am not new to this game. I have told people that the only godfather I have is God. By the grace of God, I was the National Vice Chairman of Action Congress of Nigeria. I was Director General of the Hadam Sosiomole Campaign Committee for a second term. I was a member of the major committee that created the APC. So we need not be strained that someone with these credentials we have someone else as his godfather. If you are talking about godfathers and grandson, you should be talking about someone, somebody new in the game who needs someone else to nurture him. In these situations, you know that I have paid my dues and the holy godfather I have is God. But Adam Soshiomale is a national leader of the party and nobody can wish him, wish him away. Of course, I would be nice to him to tell people to vote for him because in many parts of Edo State, he did well and many people are indebted to him. But that does not in any way mean that he will be my godfather. Some people said if you are elected, your administrations will be like a continuation of the Shiomale administration. What do you think about it? And according to Ize Yamo, Ize Yamo said you are talking this too far because Oshiomale has left the government. Though I supported the government, I was not part of it. If you are saying my emergence will be a continuation of the APC government, you are right. Because it is the party that holds us together. And we cannot run away from it. Oshiomale has not told me what to do in government. The only person who said he would follow Oshiomale was Obesiki. Governor Obesiki's campaign was built on continuity. He said he would build on everything that Oshiomole did. I am not going to take over from Oshiomole. If I was, I would have been saying what I would do. Let me tell you this. I am not going to say because I will succeed Obesiki and reverse all the things he did. That would be foolish of me if there are good things we have done together. I am not going to say because I will succeed, I will reverse all the things he did. That will not be that will be foolish of me. If there are good things we identify, of course we will continue with them. But if there are also bad policies, that should not be continued. We should jettison them. We must have the political courage to do what is right. It is not all about saying because it is a new administration, everything must reverse. APC is a national party. I have more rights than any other persons because this is a party I helped to fund. Are you saying that because of some people in the party, I should not come to a house where, to a house I founded? That would be ridiculous. If you own a house and somebody abuses you in that house, are you saying you should not go back to it? It is a silly logic that does not make sense. So you should be telling me if it is not morally right for me to go back home. Many people in the state still like the, P the People's Democratic Party as the last presidential and National Assembly election should. How do you hope to win the election? And according to Hise Yamo, he said you forgot that those who made such things happen at that time. And now in the APC, I coordinated the campaign of the PDP that you are referring to. I was the DG of the state campaign com committee and my job was to ensure that we won in the state. You also know what I was returning to the APC. I did not go alone. I took formidable leaders from the 18 local government areas along. You should know that my coming back has changed the, quest, the equation completely. In any case, it was this present state government that weakened the APC because they, align, they align, alienated the leadership, which made the party to become weak. When the APC had a governor 
who was busy dealing with shepherd across the various local government areas. It was easy for the party to be in disarray, and we capitalized on that, and we are coming back and we are going to offer a very strong leadership based on consultations and respect for party structure. Under that scenario, I can tell you that you are going to see overwhelming support and commitment from the party members. We are going to win in all the 18 local government of the state. Wow, you can hear everything about her is a yamo. You know, according to what he said, it is definitely is is definitely fighting for himself and is actually saying the right thing as as the pastor planning to go for governorship election in a do state. So my people, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Your comment is highly appreciated and kindly drop your comment at the comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you are yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news. Thank you so much once again. Always stay safe at this crucial time. Bye.